Hello everyone, Black Ice here, and welcome back to Black Ice. I loaded up my character and apparently op it opened the tutorial world, it looks like. So I'm going to uh, skip the tutorial here, and let's get on in. That was, that was weird, okay. Alright, so these servers seem to have been reset, but I seem to have maintained my current level and my inventory and weapons. Actually, let's check the rest of my inventory. Yeah, that looks about the same. So basically, all these servers are not hacked anymore, which really isn't a big deal. I mean, unless you need to hack a certain amount of servers to do something, but to my knowledge, that isn't the case. I think I should just be fine continuing to hack these servers and everything, and everything should be okay. Um, I kind of want to see if... Here, hang on a second. Um, my stats... Oh yeah, we need to go to T for talent points, and yeah, that seems about the same as well. Okay, that's weird. Uh, no big deal, though. Let's go back to the main game. And I guess we can just start it off by hacking real quick. And before I begin hacking, uh, I'm going to hack this level 20 and this level 18 at the same time and see if I can do that. This whole multi-hacking thing is really, really good for leveling up fast. But for hacking, I was asked to explain it a little bit more, and I probably should. So right now I'm going to tell you guys everything I know about hacking in the game. Probably not going to be 100% of what there is to know about hacking, but... I'm sure there's wikis and stuff, and if you want, you could probably ask the developer of the game. But don't go ask him a, like a million questions at a time. He's a busy man. He's got to be developing this. Not answering your pathetic questions. That's my job. Okay, I'm just kidding. Uh, anyway, hacking. Basically, this right here and this right here, these are servers. These servers are owned by evil companies like Eurotel Tracking GmbH. And... Baconium Mechanics LLC. These guys, they're evil. So we need to hack them and bring them down. Bring them to justice. And to hack them, you basically, when you're... Well, first of all, when you look away from it, you'll notice that... See that, um... Like, it looks like a letter Y in the cursor. When you go off of it, it's no longer there. When this appears here, that means you're in range where you can right-click it and start hacking. So I'm in range of both of these right now. And I thought I saw something go by. Maybe not. Maybe I was just looking at this. But as you can see, like, for example, now I'm too far away from this level 8 over here. But when I get a little bit closer, I can right click and start hacking it. And the reason why it's right click is because, well, actually, you could probably change this maybe? Yeah, you could probably change this, but it's right click because you hack with a tool called an icebreaker. Icebreakers allow you to hack into servers, and they give you various kinds of bonuses and whatnot. This isn't a basic icebreaker, so it's not going to be as easy to explain, I guess. But basically, when it comes to hacking speed, or when it comes to hacking, the main things you want to focus on your speed and your range, more or less. I mean, there's obviously other things you need to worry about, such as like web damage, reduced weapon damage, and health over there. That's kind of like in the whole battle sequence type thing, more than like hacking in itself though. So, hacking speed, I believe the default is probably 1. I'm not sure about the default range, but I remember it being close to like 17 or something, or maybe it's 15. But anyway, hacking speed determines how fast it takes you to actually hack the server. You, and the reason why speed matters is that there's two things that go into hacking servers, which is the amount of time it takes you to hack, as well as defeating all of the black ice that come out of the servers. That And the black ice are basically the enemies that defend the server from being hacked. So you have to eliminate all of those and meet the requirement for uh, hacking speed. Or for hacking time, I should say, which is met faster the more hacking speed you have, obviously. And there's also a range to hacking. Um, I don't know if the range is directly related to like that whole thing about the letter Y showing up on the... It's not really letter Y, that's just the way I describe the shape. Showing up on your cursor, but basically, your range determines how far you can be from it to actually hack it. Now, this might be the range, it would kind of make sense if it was... Maybe it isn't. But basically, when you start a hack, you'll see like a circle appear around the server you're hacking. 
and that circle determines your range. If you go outside there, the hack is stopped. So you need to stay inside the range to hack a server, and that's to prevent you from just like, if there was no range, I could just hack this, run really, really far away, and then to slowly defeat the enemies one by one as they walk towards me, and you know, that's no fun anyway. So, hacking range, important. Uh, just always stay in the range to maintain your hack. And I'm going to go back to the icebreaker thing right here. Um, and the RAM used is the amount of RAM it takes per hack, I believe. And I don't know if that's, like, permanently used. I think it's not, like, permanently, permanently used. But, I mean, like, as you're hacking, it says RAM used 5. So if I right-clicked a server, it would use 5 RAM. I don't know if I would just re regenerate that instantly or if that 5 RAM would maintain throughout the entirety of the hack. Not too sure about that. But anyway, um... Hopefully this stuff makes a little bit of sense. I'm going to kind of, kind of demonstrate it right now. Maybe I shouldn't demonstrate it with two at a time. Let's hack, uh, let's hack this level 8 because it's just right here anyway. So I want to hack it. Just right click on it. Now that music starts, you see this is the range circle and enemies will start spawning. These guys are the black guys. have to kill all these guys and you'll notice a hack time remaining bar right above my experience bar. It's about to go down. And so... Now it's down. The, I don't have to... I'm, I mean, I'm not killing these guys on purpose right now. I'm just trying to explain. The hack time remaining, uh, it's gone now. I've met the time requirement. Now it says, kill all enemies to finish the hack. And it tells you how many enemies are remaining. So that's what I want to do. I want to kill the rest of these guys. And there should be one, two more. There we go. And that is how you hack a server. So let's get some health. And each time you hack a server, you get some loot from it. This is the disc again. Um, not as good as the current weapon I have now, so I'm going to stick with that. And you also gain experience from killing enemies and hacking servers. And it even says in the top right corner, apparently, that congratulations, I've hacked a server. But anyway, lately I've been taking this to a new level relative to my skill or experience. I'm sure other people have done this before, hacked multiple servers at the same time. What I do is I right click both of these, now I'm hacking both. I have to stay in the range of both of them though to hack both of them at the same time. And I don't think you gain anything from hacking more than one at a time like that you would gain from hacking them separately. Like I don't think that it differs, oh crap, I, and this is probably not the best, oh jeez. This is probably not the best demonstration for this because I am going. I'm getting killed right now. I have to kind of run and avoid these guys. They can't just. Uh, they're they're not like the other guys in that level eight server who were somewhat pushoverish. But anyway, uh, let's get rid of these guys. Run through. I'm. I might die here. I might actually die here. All right, we got those. These big spider guys are the worst part right now. Right, there we go. We hacked one of them. Now we hack both of them, and we've got to level up, thank goodness. Is this going to go off anyway? It is. How mean. Uh, can I... Okay, cool. So I can explode those by myself. And I did level up, so there we go. That's good. I want to collect the loot, though. The noob cannon. Let's see what that is all about. Uh, machine gun, 10 DPS. Not bad, but still my, my ray gun is a little bit better. 30 DPS. And let's see what we get from here. I'm hoping for a really nice icebreaker. Instant heal, ooh. Oh, that's awesome. So you gain plus 24 health, so this is kind of like an ability thing I might use. I'm gonna put this to three on my hotbar. That's gonna be really useful because until now I just had to get the, my health from killing enemies and hoping they drop some, but now I can just heal myself if I'm in trouble. And in fact, there we go. I am healed. Very nice. Um, what is this, level 50? Okay, anyway, um, and as you can see, that has, like, a cooldown, so you can't just spam that and be invincible or whatever. So now I'm just gonna level up, and let's see, what should I invest in? Um, I wanna get more RAM. Yeah, let's get more RAM. RAM and RAM return speed, I think, are some of the most important things you can invest in, but obviously you don't, you don't have to. You can do whatever you want, but... In my opinion, those are going to be the most important for an offensive type build anyway. I mean, it, I could just go all tanky style and invest in like health and maybe uh, like damage reduced. Let's see, what, 
What can I invest in to be a tank? Okay, damage reduced is not something you can invest in. That's just something my icebreaker gave me. I wasn't sure. Okay, so if I wanted to be tanky, I would do definitely health and maybe damage probably. Health and damage. I don't know. I just... Yeah, that, that makes a little bit more sense. I don't know. But that's not the build I prefer, at least when I'm playing this. I like to go for somewhat balanced, but mainly focus on being able to attack all the time. And there's no real uh, dual hacking type things that are close to me right now, and all these guys are going to come from the ceiling. I like these because they all come in swarms, and with the laser gun it's just fun to kill them like this. Or the ray gun, I should say. There we go. Relatively easy hack. That one is about my level. Uh, noob cannon. Let's see. That is a slightly better noob cannon than the last one I picked up, but still not worth using. And I kind of want to go check out a general store, maybe. And by the way, that thing that I saw at the end of the last episode that like destroyed me has a chance of spawning from this thing right here, which is Finality Incorporated, even though you don't actually attempt to hack it. And it's called a shark. And there's ways of dealing with them where I could probably kill it now, but it would be really tough. And there's a method called shark surfing, and basically you need a, well, yeah, I guess you need a jetpack mod to do it. You would, well, for example, that, that's the jetpack mod. Basically, if you can get on top of the actual enemy itself, then you could pretty easily take it down. Okay, and the, as you can see, the jetpack does take quite a bit of, what's it called? Quite a bit of something. <laughs> Ram! Yeah, there you go. Okay. But anyway, let's start another hack here in this level 15. And I'm going to move out more and start exploring a little bit. Oh, I've never seen that before. That's a cool little shield thing he had there. But it, I s seem to have been able to go through the shield, so I'm guessing that it only stops some of the damage and not all of it. And a noob icebreaker. Let's see what this is. Um, this is actually not bad, but the one I have now is a lot better. Hacking speed 1.2, range 20, whereas I have 1.5 and 24. Plus I get better bonuses and all that, but that wouldn't be bad otherwise. Um, here's a 15 and an 18. Let's hack both of these. Alright, and see the problem with dual hacking is since so many enemies spawn... Oh gosh. Oh... I might go on a range here, I don't want to do that. Alright. I didn't want to use my jetpack like that, because they can climb up here. I'm not safe up here at all. But... Oh, dang it. And I gotta watch it, because it's, it's hard to stay in the range and fight so many enemies at once like this. And it seems like there's three different colors of enemies. What the heck? Where are the yellow guys coming from? Okay, I need to get some health real quick. Okay, maybe I wasn't that low in health, but... Definitely. Did I go out of range of one of them? I may have on accident. Oh no, I hacked one, and this will this will be the. Yeah, these yellow guys. I didn't hack a yellow server. I don't think. Usually the. Maybe I did. I don't know. I don't remember the colors, but usually um, the enemies that come out of a server that you are hacking are the same color as the server. Like if I hack this, it'll be the purple guys. Um, I. Either I don't remember what color I or what colors I hacked, which very well could be the case, or it's not always true that that happens. And I apologize for the dogs barking, they should not be outside right now. Um, hopefully they'll shut up soon enough. Or you know what, I could pause the recording, because this isn't something that I have to like, because, like, you know, I'm not hacking right now, so it's okay. So I'll pause the recording, and I'll get back to a good place to start hacking some more servers, and I'll be right back. Okay, I am back. Sorry for the brief interruption there. Um, that actually didn't take long at all, but I did manage to find these two servers, a 23 and a 19, right by each other, so that should be some pretty good XP. It should be a pretty good uh, challenge as well. So let's get it started. There we go. I just gotta make sure I stay in range of both of them now. And this is not going to be an easy hack at all. In fact, I'm gonna incorporate some landmines in this as well. Just to kind of keep them at bay a little bit. Okay, that, that failed pretty fast. Oh, he jumped on my face and started clawing me. Oh, you. Alright, got got to level up. Um, I haven't been paying too much attention, but... Okay, and they're starting to blow up from... Actually, this guy's laying down some landmines. 
Oh, and, I, and I forgot what I was going to say that I haven't been paying attention to, dang it. Oh yeah, for level ups. I, I think that restores all your health when you level up, but I'm not sure. Some games do that, some games don't, and this is just a bad icebreaker, well, compared to the one I have. Like I said, I don't really remember, whoops, and I'm hitting Q for some reason instead of W. I don't really remember the starting icebreaker, how that was the rod thrower. What is this like? It's a shotgun. Here, let's try this out. Let's see what this is like. Oh, this is pretty cool. I'm going to start using this for a little bit, just so I'm not using the same weapon all the time, but it, it looks pretty cool. Let's get some more talent points, and I'm going to go for Ram Regen, definitely. Alright, um... So 23 and a 24 over there. I don't think I should hack both of them at the same time. They're not too close to each other, so let's just do the 23 for now. Okay, and the shotgun is... Oh, oh, I, I walked out of the range there. Dang it. Yeah, I, I don't know if it's if you go past it or if you touch it that you're out, but I did not pay close enough attention. And Okay, this shotgun is not very good. <laughs> Did they set me on fire? These guys set me on fire, those jerks. No. I might lose this hack. I may not succeed with this one at all. But let's let's hope since this is a shotgun that I'm hitting multiple enemies at once. Okay, maybe I will do it. Okay, I was able to do it. Definitely a lot harder there though. And I definitely want to heal up a little bit and wait for that to cool down. Okay, I'm switching back to, to my better weapon, I think. Let's put the ray gun back on. All right, and let's get out. And as soon as I cool down again, I'm going to get some more health going. Just because I want to be, you know, as close to full health as possible when I start. Okay, plus 24 health. I'm only at 81%, though. Here's a 22 and a 24. That should be a good one for a dual hack. But I definitely want to be at full health before I start this, so I'm just going to use that again. And I think I should only need one more for the... Uh, Actually, it's 24, I can... Okay, yeah, and I'm only 20 away, so one more will do it. Full health, let the ram go back, and let's start our dual hack. I gotta be really careful to, as always, stay in range. Oh, crap, crap. And I am getting overrun really fast here. Maybe I should not dual hack servers that are so much higher than my level. Because that's what I've been doing lately. I've been... I mean, I'm only level 15. These are like... 23 and 24 or something. Yeah, there's a blue one there, and I don't think I started hacking the blue one. I wonder what that is. That's... Oh, oh, jeez. They're out. They're on my head. Get off of me. Oh, my goodness. I don't think I've seen them do that before. Okay, um... Hey, you're out of the range, you jerk. Okay, maybe he's in the range of the other server. And we got a freezer. That sounds pretty cool. Did I... No, there's enemies left. Where are they? Where the heck are- where the, where'd they go? Oh wait, there's a- oh, there he is. I see you, you're not gonna- okay, there we go. That'll level up. A freezer and a scorcher, how fitting. Alright, um, ram regen, for sure. So now when I use it, it comes back pretty fast. Yeah, I can keep this sustained for a while. Alright, so I'm gonna start investing in other stats soon, but let's check out what we got. Ooh, 32 DPS. This one's kind of cool, too. It's a shotgun. This one's more of a sniper. Let's try the sniper one out. And I'm just putting my good one there so I remember which one it is. See, what's the range on it? It's got some good range. Oh, and I did learn that um, fire rate does actually affect the, um, the ray gun I was using that has, like, a constant beam. Because the developer was kind enough to let me know on the comments of my video. So that, that's pretty awesome. Something in there compensates for that, so that's pretty good. Pretty good. So definitely fire rate is something I want to look into then. Um, actually... Or attack speed, I guess, would, would be it. Not necessarily fire rate. Eh, I don't know. They're kind of similar, I guess. Maybe not entirely. Anyway, let's try this. Because right now I'm firing this pretty slowly. Okay, does this guy just have a ton of health? Okay, maybe... Oh, jeez. The thing I like about this, though, is that you can slow them down when they have that ice around them like that. See how the ice accumulates below them? It's going to be slower, and then when it goes away, he's a little bit faster again. 
Okay, not many enemies on that one, but ooh, we got a golden loot cube. Oh, wait, what the heck? What is that? I don't know what this is. It's a rare mod equipped for passive benefit. The Aki. I, I don't know how to pronounce that, but something gold standard. Do I equip this in here? Let's get. Let's move this a little bit out of the way for a second. Do I equip it to like one of these? I guess I would. It's Yeah, it's just a passive thing though. So it passively gives me extra critical hit chance plus 9 damage returned. Damage returned, is that how much damage I do to them maybe? And minus 14 seconds hack time. Sounds good to me. I'm equipping it. Alright, awesome. And I did not level up, I don't think. No, I didn't. Okay, let's hack this 20. Oh yeah, because I didn't do two at once. I just did one there. I didn't really get to test this out too well. But yeah, those were just like... I think it was just like a few enemies that had a lot of health. And that's kind of what we're having now, it looks like. Because I am just wailing on this guy. And I'm gonna... I'm being shot here, so in a second... Uh, once I get a little bit more ram... Oh crap. I'm gonna run for a second and heal up a little bit. Dang it, they're, they're hurting me. I lost all that health I've recovered pretty much. Get away! Okay, now let's, uh, come on, cool down, cool down, cool down. There we go. Okay, let's get him destroyed. Let's get you destroyed, you little shield guy. And let's get this final guy destroyed. There we go. Okay, there we go. That was pretty close there. I had to use the health thing more often than normal. Cyber missiles, that sounds fun. And I keep bringing up the talent tree instead of, um... My inventory for a second. Ooh, 76 DPS causes explosions. We're equipping this. Let's see what this is like. Oh, whoops. Now, okay, so that seems pretty cool. It uses quite a bit of RAM, but I'm assuming that since it does so much damage, I might be able to one shot things with it, so. And. Actually, I'm going to test something real quick. Is it going to hurt me? Okay, no. So the explosions will not hurt me. That's good. I was a little bit worried about that. Um, let's hack some other servers here. Ooh, there's a shop. Let's shop here, actually. Um, let's see. What do you have? You have some cyber missiles. Do you have, like, ray guns? No, it doesn't look like it. And it doesn't look... Ooh. This is a really good machine gun, apparently. What? Require level 5. This is something that looks really good. 122 DPS, does a lot of damage per shot, pretty accurate. Uses 15 RAM, it causes explosions, it's got a critical hit chance, extra weapon damage, chance to pierce, and homing. But that costs so much money, I don't think I can, even if I sold all these things. Um, so I don't want to sell all. Um, well, let's see, could we even come close? That's what I want to know. We may be able to, actually. I'm gonna try selling some things. I don't really want the Scorcher. I think the Freezer I may hang on to just for a little while. Now, we could sell these other Icebreakers for now. I mean, I don't see any benefit to really changing them out for the one I have. The one I have is really good and I like it a lot. So let's sell these. Oh yeah, this is gonna come really close, even if I sold all the stuff, I think. Actually, what's this one? This is another good machine gun. Hmm. I might want to hang on to that, actually, too. Unless it means that... Oh, man. I'm not gonna... Yeah, I'm... there's no way I'm gonna have enough. And I'm just an icebreaker here. Around there already. I could probably sell... Actually, wait. What was the stats on it? Yeah, I could sell this one. These discs are okay, but I'm not very good with them, and the ones I have don't do a ton of damage. And this is a shotgun. I remember I stopped using this because it just used a lot of RAM at the time, but... Hmm. This might be good to equip right now, actually. Not as good as the one I have equipped currently, damage-wise, but... It's a laser gun. I could probably unequip this. The new machine gun. I could probably... I... Or not on equip sell, but I'll probably sell those. Yeah, I think I'm good with what I have now. Actually, I could probably 
Yeah, I can sell this one. It's not as good as this machine gun right here. The jump mods, I have enough... I, I don't really need these right now because I have enough RAM to be able to use the jetpack at least a little bit efficiently. This fireball is not very great, but it's not bad either. But I am going to sell because I have the scorch. Oops. Well, did not mean to do that. Okay, apparently right-click is also to sell stuff. I just accidentally hit right-click when I was on it. Dang it. Oh, well. Um, where am I? Yeah, nowhere near. Uh, at least I got some money, though. Can't get the really cool thing, but... Actually, real quick, I'm just gonna... Sort this a little better. And I kind of want to try this out again. Actually, no. I'll try this one out, then we'll switch to the plasma one. See what they're like. Um, a 12 and a 16. That should be able to... Be no problem, pretty much. Okay, so it pushes them back. I like that. Okay, and they are hurt by, like, the area of effect type thing that's going on with this, with the explosions. But I'm already, I mean, I know I was spamming it a little bit there, but, I mean, I was for the most part hitting things at least with the area of effect type thing going on. Dang it. And I'm already kind of out of RAM, so maybe I don't want to use this. Or maybe it just requires that I don't really spam it and that I actually aim to hit them directly. Yeah, I'm getting better results when I'm aiming directly, obviously, but... Ooh, we have a golden loot cube here. Let's see what this is like. Cowboy Icebreaker. We could, this could be the better icebreaker I've been wanting. 1.5 speed, 19 range. Yeah, not quite the thing I was hoping for. It uses a lot more RAM, too. Gives me different... Movement speed, damage, return, and attack speed are pretty cool. I kind of like this one, though. Yeah. But hey, actually, how much is this worth? 252 I can sell it. I'm right by the shop. So I will do just that. Alright, and... Okay, no sharks. Okay, I always gotta look now just because I'm afraid something's gonna come and hit me. Uh, let's see. Let's open this up, and we're gonna try the plasma weapon again. Or... Er well, yeah, I should say again, because I'm sure we've tried it before, I just... It didn't work out, because of the ram it used. Okay, so this is like a shotgun type thing, it looks like. Okay, and I can somewhat spam it a little bit. Okay, hack time is down, I just gotta find the rest of them. There's one. Okay, definitely good at close range, because then all of them hit. It's okay. I think I'll start using this one for a little bit. Mine or mine? Is this better than the one I have? DPS 15? No. Not even close. And I don't need to sell it right now. Okay, here's another shop, actually. Johnny Icebreaker Surplus. Ooh. Oh, this one. Wow. This one might be really good. How's the one I have now? I really like this one, and I can buy it. I think I'm going to hold off, though, just for now. Maybe I'll buy it again. Maybe I won't, but... Or again, I shouldn't say again. I never bought it in the first place. Alright, so let's go check out the area. There's a 28 and a 22 right by each other. I could try those. It's going to be tough, so I am going to get to full health for sure before I start hacking this one. Especially since I'm not using the weapon that... I seem to be best at, which is just the really uh, constant firing laser thing. So let's hack these, try to stay in range best I can. Okay, and oh, another fire guy. Dang it. Oh, and there's a lot of them too. There is a lot of these guys here. Okay, so actually, I don't know. I think they're fighting each other. That's pretty cool. I didn't. I think we saw a little bit of that in the. Um, in the last episode, but I don't remember if... No, yeah, because I wasn't sure if that was actually a thing or if I was just kind of imagining that, but they do seem to be fighting each other, which is awesome. I love how they can do that. Now these guys are the only ones left, so they're not going to be fighting with the purple guys anymore. And we got to level up, and it does seem to have brought my health to full again. And let's just get you. So, got some more loot. Let's see what we got here. Another energetic plasma ball. And it's another cyber missile. Let's see what these ones are like. This plasma ball is better than the one I have now. And it uses less RAM, actually. This... Okay, but it has less, um... What are they called? Buffs. Yeah, less buffs. And let's see the damage. 
and I want to look at individual damage. Okay, this actually fires seven shots at once, whereas this fires six. This one, they appear to be the same accuracy, and the range is about the same. The cooldown, this one has slightly less. I'm going to switch to this one, actually, though. And this cyber missile, 44 DPS, might be worth using a little bit more. But I'll hang on to the one I have, or the new one I picked up just now. And here's a 23 and a 31. You know, I'm gonna just try the 31. I am very well may die here, because it's almost double my level. No, nope. get away from me with that fire, get away from me with the fire, get away from me with the fire. Oh man. Okay, this is going to be tough for sure. This is going to be tough for sure. It's taken forever just to kill one of these guys with the current weapon I have, but I like that. I like how I'm not just going through them, and I actually have to concentrate and kind of be more afraid of these guys, and actually let's heal up a little bit. I'm gonna run around a little bit, try to avoid getting hit. Okay, there we go. Slow my ram to regen, and I don't want to go out here. Oh, I cornered myself. Oh, I killed him? Sweet. I think I killed that guy. But these guys are really tough. Oh yeah, my health is dropping like a rock. Let's hope this is the last one. And he was. Okay, good. And I leveled up from that, so that was awesome too. Ooh, another one of those really... Oh, it's not as good as the other one I had. Okay, I'm going to equip this one now. Just because it kind of seems like I do better with it. I don't know if that's actually true. But anyway, let's level up. Or I should say we are leveled up. Let's go for attack speed, actually. Put another one for that. Okay, and here's a 23. We can... Well, I'll heal up, and then I'll do it. There we go. Not heal full, obviously, but I think I can take this one even though I'm not healed to full. Yeah, I seem to be doing more damage from the attack speed, although I'm not sure if it's something noticeable yet, because I haven't used this in a while, so it's not like I can compare, because it's not in my recent memory that I've used this. I mean, it kind of is, but, you know, it's not like I used this on the last server I had. Charge jump. Now, what is that? I don't know what this is. Hold to charge. I'm gonna take my jetpack mod off for a second and see what this is like. So, if you hold down jump... Okay, my ram is decreasing. Is it going to make it so that I jump higher with it? Because I am just gonna go until my ram stops decreasing. I don't know if that's a good idea. Maybe I'll just get propelled really high into the sky like a spring, sort of. And you use your ram for the spring. Because that could be better than the jetpack mod in a way. Although I'm sure it's not as easy to control and it's got a long charge time. Okay, yeah. Yeah, that, that's really high up. Oh my gosh. That's awesome. Hopefully I don't die of fall damage. Okay, thank goodness. I like that, but, you know, I will hang on to it, but I'm going to keep my jetpack for now. Because jetpack is more instantaneous, whereas for that I could probably get more height because... Um, my jetpack uses RAM pretty fast. Alright, what other servers should we hack? I want to go for like a really challenging one. Actually, and while I'm looking for it, I'm going to heal up as I do that. Let's see if I could hack like... Let's see, 17 times 2 is like 34 or something like that. 32... Let's try 34 if I can find one. If not, this 32 might do. You know what? I'm probably just going to settle at 32. It's almost double my level. Not quite, but it's still going to be a challenge for sure. So I definitely want to wait till I'm healed up fully to do this. And we'll end the episode off with an epic hack of this server. And actually, before I actually start hacking, I'm going to plant some mines down as well. So that'll make things a little bit easier on me. Now let's plant them just kind of around the perimeter of the server. I don't know exactly how many of these I'm allowed to have out at once, but I'm assuming there's some sort of limit. Yeah, as you can see, those are exploding now. Either that or they're timed. They could be timed. You know what? I think they're timed, actually. They're not proximity, are they? Let's let's check real quick. Um, explosive. Okay, it says proximity mine, but I guess they have a fuse on them, sort of. Either that or I'm only allowed one out at a time? No, I guess they have a fuse. Alright, now I'll start laying them down, because they should last a little bit. 
and I'm gonna have to stand here then. Hopefully my mines don't blow me out of the... They're coming from... Okay, they're not coming from the ceiling. Yes, okay, and this guy is a tough guy for sure. Wow, it's taking forever to get his health down. Okay, and I have to kind of dodge as much as I can with this guy. Because he's... Okay, good. There was only two guys there, I think, but... We hacked it. Okay, I want to... Let's see. Not bad, but I have better, I think. You know what? Let's go for this 41. Yeah, this is going to be crazy, I can tell. Because there's going to be more enemies. We're going to try this one in the episode, then. I just think there's going to be more enemies. I'm not really sure. I have no idea how to tell. But hopefully this one has more enemies than the last one. It looks bigger, so maybe it does. Come on, bring on Black Ice. Alright, let's hack it. And let's put some mines down. And I'm just going to make a circle, because I'm sure there's things chasing me. So I can just keep the mines going down. But it doesn't seem like there's going to be ton of enemies. This guy was chasing me, and oh jeez. Okay, maybe I spoke too soon. Maybe I spoke too soon. These guys are huge, and they're tough. Oh, get off of me, get off of me. He's the only guy left, but he's he's killing my face. Oh. Oh no, not you again. Dang it. This always happens at the end of episodes. <laughs> this guy always shows up. Oh man, I'm getting destroyed here. And I read something online about him, how that... If you just run in a straight line from him, he can, like, calculate where you're going to be and shoot where you're going to be instead of where you actually are. And yeah, he definitely looks like a hammerhead shark. I'm going to see if I can get on top of him real quick, but I may just... I mean, I, I'm past due for the end of the episode already. I want to heal up a little more before I get closer to him again, though. Oh, crap. You know what? This is not going to happen. Or is it? It's probably not going to happen. But I'm going to give it an attempt. Although it's kind of hard to charge up my ram when I'm having to heal at the same time. So I'm going to just kind of bob and weave through here. Okay. Let's see where he is now. Let's see him. Yeah, and I just noticed how close I was to Finality Incorporated, actually. Let's heal up again. And, okay, I'm going to go find him now. Or maybe he despawned. Could have despawned. Maybe he's still looking for me. I think he's still here, though. I just... Oh, yep, there he is. There he is. There he is. Okay, let's... Oh, crap. He's got good aim. He's got good aim. He's got good aim. Yeah, I can't even get near him. I'm dead. All right, well, soon I will be able to attempt to get on top of him, but I, I was concerned I wouldn't be able to get the height. I did have the height. I just couldn't get close enough. So... Maybe if I get more movement speed or something, I'll have to look into that, because I definitely want to take that guy out. He's killed me too many times now. But anyway, that's going to do it for me for today, so thank you all so much for watching. Really hope you enjoyed the episode, and I will see you in the next video. Till then, goodbye everyone. Have a great day.